After 50 hours of racing, only the Bapco 8 hours of Bahrain remains to conclude the 2021 FI World Endurance Championship, and with 39 points still up for grabs, 9 of the 10 championships are yet to be decided. But who can still end the year as world champion? Let's take a look. The grid in hypercar hasn't been the largest in 2021, and with only three cars appearing for the finale, the odds are stacked in the favour of the championship leading number 7 Toyota of Mike Conway, Kamui Kobayashi and Jose Maria Lopez, as the only way they can lose the title to the sister number 8 car of Sebastian Buemi, Brendan Hartley and Kazuki Nakajima is if either the 7 car fails to finish a race for the first time since the 2017 24 hours of Le Mans, or the 8 crew takes pole and wins the race with the 7 finishing last. No matter the result, it's sure to be an emotional day at the Toyota camp, as after 10 years, 3 Le Mans wins and at least one world title, Kazuki Nakajima will be bidding farewell to the WEC programme. LMP2 is almost the complete opposite of hypercar, with 4 cars from 3 teams still in with a shot and 2 only needing to win the race to secure the crown. Team WRT ends with a narrow 5 point championship lead, thanks to wins at Le Mans and the most important form indicator, last weekend's 6 hours of Bahrain, as Robin Freintz, Ferdinand Habsburg and Charles Malisi look to complete an all-conquering debut LMP2 season for the Belgian team, by adding the World Endurance Championship to their Le Mans and European Le Mans series wins. Their biggest challenge will come from Jota, especially the number 28 of Tom Blomqvist, Sean Galeo and Stoffel van Dorn, who sit just five points back after a consistent season featuring four podiums, whilst the sister mighty 38 of Antonio Felix da Costa, Roberto Gonzalez, and someone who is making his last start as a professional racing driver, Anthony Davidson, is still in contention at 17 points back. A near-perfect start to United Autosport's title defence was derailed at Le Mans, with a 40th place finish overall, and fourth in Bahrain last week leaves Phil Hansen with the near impossible task of gaining 25 points back on WRT, something which requires the Belgian squad to finish outside the top five for only the second time this year, with the 28 also needing to end up off the podium if United are to take back-to-back -back titles. If you thought LMP2 was still wide open, wait until you hear how the new for 2021 Pro-Am subclass is looking with three cars being in a position where a race win guarantees them the title. Fritz van Erd of Racing Team Nederland currently holds nine points over former leaders Dragon Speed USA, and Ben Hanley, Henrik Hedman and Juan Pablo Montoya, who had the misfortune of losing a wheel last weekend, whilst Real Team Racing's Esteban Garcia and Norman Nato sit only one point further back after a year which has seen them finish on the podium in every single race. And it just keeps getting closer, as an incredible one point splits the Ferrari of James Collado and Alessandro Pierguidi and the Porsche of Kevin Estra and Neil Yarny in the fight to become a two-time world champion in the GT Pro category. Porsche were dominant last weekend, but the partial reversal of a pre-race balance of performance change should hopefully bring Ferrari right back into it and give us an incredible winner-takes-all scrap under the floodlights, where if both run smoothly, Whoever finishes better takes the crown. And if the stakes weren't high enough, the LMGTE manufacturer's fight is just as tight, with Porsche this time holding the advantage by sitting one point ahead of Ferrari. If all four GT Pro entries get through the race without problem, it comes down to the simple solution of the race winner takes it. But in case someone runs into issues, it's worth noting that GT Yam cars count towards the points in this championship as well. Points go to the best two finishers from each manufacturer, no matter which class they come from. And last but not least, it's a repeat of 12 months ago in GTM as AF Corsa take on TF Sport. This time around, AF Corsa from their number 83 Ferrari of Nicholas Nielsen, Francois Perodo and Alessio Rivera come in with a 22.5 point lead, meaning that a top 4 finish will be enough for them to take it. TF Sports new for 2021 crew of Felipe Fraga, Ben Keating and Dylan Pereira took their first win the season last weekend to keep their title hopes alive, 
but although they have the momentum, the success ballast no longer looks in their favour as they enter with a 5kg more than Perodo and Co. Who do you think will win the Babco 8 Hours of Bahrain, and who will become world champions? Please let me know in the comments below.